diagram for the male reproductive system. So immediately when you open the human anatomy of reproductive system, you can see the figure will be like this, which is having the anterior region and the posterior region. The anterior region, you can see a balloon like structure the anterior region and the posterior region. The anterior region you can see the balloon shaped structure wherein this anterior region is being divided into the urinary bladder, ureter, seminal vesicles. You can see the seminal vesicles which are leaf like structures. These are the leaf like structures which are seen in the anterior region of the system. And when you see, you can see a small tube like thing which is running from the on both the sides of the reproductive system which is called as the prostrate gland. Prostrate gland is 2 in number that means prostrate glands are paired and the bulbo urethral gland you can see the bulbo urethral gland which is immediately after the prostrate gland and this is only one, one in number means it is single. So repeatedly asked questions in your entrances. And the next is the ductus differences. This ductus differences is the middle part of this particular tube which is running or connecting the anterior region from the posterior region. And you can see the egg like structure or an oval shaped structure which we call it as the epididymis. Epididymis and this is having a, this you can see a cushion like structure just how we will be taking rest uh, when we want uh, to sit somewhere we will be using some cushions these days is it not why this cushion is like because it gives somewhat comfort to the uh, uh, man okay in the same way the epididymis is a cushion like structure and inside this you can see the testes are you following? So this is the ultimate testis where it is embedded inside this particular region. When you see the posterior region, this is the ejaculatory duct, the ejaculatory duct and this is the penis which is seen anteriorly or, or which is seen or in between the two thighs of the male body and this inside the penis you can see the urethra. Okay. The thing which you have to know is in the male reproductive system both the excretion and also the uh, whatever you call it as the, the ejaculation or the semen which is coming out is through this external part of the body which we call it as the penis and uh, you can see in this particular region a bulb like structure is also present which is called as the glans penis and this is completely muscular in nature. This is about the external view of the uh, male reproductive system. Now let us see the next diagram of wherein we can see the complete structure of the development of the testis. Yes, if you see this particular reproductive system or the testines uh, through an electron microscope, you can see that the anterior region as I told you the bladder is seen inside this particular uh, penis. Okay. Bladder is that part wherein the complete urine is formed and it is being stored that is the bladder. This is the vas difference. These are the tubes. The vas difference is directly connected to the our epididymis or the scrotum. One thing we have to know what is meant by scrotum. Scrotum means, can I write here? Scrotum. Scrotum is a bag like structure. Scrotum is a bag like structure which is having a tube. Scrotum is a bag like structure which is having a tube anteriorly and this is connected to the abdominal cavity. This is connected to the abdominal cavity anteriorly and this is called as this canal is called as inguinal canal very very important. In your NEET also this question is repeatedly asked. They will twist and ask this question 
what is that canal which is connecting this particular testis with the abdomen that is the inguinal canal. When it is forming when the mother is pregnant or the when the female is pregnant mother is pregnant during the seventh month of its development during the seventh month of the development of the baby you can see that this inguinal canal is directly connected to the inguinal canal will be connected to the abdomen during the development of the baby where it is occurring is it occurring in the mother or the baby it is occurring in the baby okay now what is scrotum scrotum as i told you it is a bag like structure which is embedding or which is having the testis inside what is the necessity of this scrotum so let us know about this what is the importance the normal human body temperature is 98 degrees is it not 98 degrees is the normal body temperature 98 degrees fahrenheit that is the normal body temperature for the development of the testis for the development of testis the temperature needed is 93 degree fahrenheit the temperature needed is 93 degree fahrenheit then how it, this temperature is possible inside our body inside our body we are not any cold blooded animals our body temperature will not change according to the temperature which is outside is it not like other lower invertebrates you have already studied in your schoolings in your lower classes when the temperature of the atmosphere or the environment changes accordingly the body temperature changes in the lower organisms but whereas in man humans the that possibility is not there so we are called as warm blooded animals warm blooded animals so our body temperature is 98 degrees fahrenheit for this temperature if the testis is present outside the body or outside the scrotum the sperms will not develop in order to generate or the synthesis of the sperms the temperature should be low than the normal body temperature so this scrotum which is balloon like structure is maintaining low body temperature of 93 degree fahrenheit which is allowing the sperms to the for the development okay that process we call it as a spermatogenesis spermato genesis so what is the meaning of spermatogenesis the formation of sperms is called as spermatogenesis so where it is forming where are the sperms are forming they are forming inside the scrotum here understood now now when coming to this diagram you can see that these are the epididymis and this is the bag like structure i told you know this is called as the scrotum so inside you can see here this is the where the complete testis development will be done how it is forming how they are formed this we'll see in our next class that is called as gametogenesis or the process of sperms formation we call it as spermatogenesis and as you can see these are the prostate glands what are prostate glands these are the accessory glands of the male reproductive system how many accessory glands are there see number 1 it is the first uh, uh, accessory glands of male reproductive system is seminal vesicles seminal vesicles you can see in the diagram is it not these are the seminal vesicles and the second one is the prostate gland second is the prostate gland and the third one is the cowper's glands it is the cowper's glands so these three we call it as the these three are called as the male accessory reproductive organs are you following the primary reproductive uh, system or the primary reproductive organ is the is what the testis 
inside the testis will be the sperms will be formed through the process of spermatogenesis. Where are they? They are in the scrotum. Okay, and these are the accessory glands.